What's up, Booty Brigade? You got Danita with Booty Bands, and today I want to be taking you through a full body HIIT workout in which I'm going to be incorporating strength training along with fat burning. And so you're always asking, Danita, how do I get more sculpted, more toned, and more defined? Well, today we're going to do that by actually increasing our lean muscle by also shredding fat to really get you down to that nice, good sculpted tone look. So we're going to be incorporating all of the different muscles in the entire body. So go ahead and grab your water bottle, your booty band. If you do not have your booty band, you can click the link below and also grab your mat and come join me right now. Awesome, so let's go ahead and work the entire body, working every single muscle group. We're gonna start with the inner thighs and calves. So the first exercise is 45 seconds and it's gonna be a little sumo squat with a heel raise. This is such a great one, however, I wanna make sure that you're doing the form right. So stand really nice and wide for me so, and your toes are slightly pointed out. I want you to be able to have 90 degrees in, in your legs. So if you need to go look in a mirror right now, make sure to do that. So as you drop down and you stand back up, your weight is through your heels. So that way you know that you're actually standing far apart enough. And then um, this really activates your inner thighs because when you're down in that squat, you're gonna lift your heels, squeeze for a second, and then stand back up. Ooh. This one really gets the inner thighs and the calves like no other. Now, again, if you are a beginner and you need to hold on for balance through any of these workouts, grab a chair, grab a wall, grab your bed, whatever it is, and that way it will help you through the balance part of this. Good, next one is going to be just the calf raise. You can do what we were just doing with the squat and all you're doing is the hill raising as you're down in that squat. Or for a beginner, you can just go into the standing calf raise here where the knees are soft, the core is tight, and you're just lifting those heels. Good, and remember to keep breathing. Awesome, next we're gonna go into the front of the legs and the lower abs, so that pooch area. So we're gonna go into that standing knee drive. What I want you to do is bring your hands up overhead and then reach them through as your knees come up. This really is going to activate the calorie burn and really emphasize more fat burning here for you. So placing that booty band on adds some resistance, allows it to be a little bit more challenging and it really gets into your legs and into your core. You can go fast, but what I like to do is do it a little bit um, slower and controlled and that is you're gonna feel the standing leg really burning and you're gonna feel the core on fire and it's gonna be awesome. So just keep breathing, keep that core nice and tight. You've only got like 10 more seconds, keep going. Now with that same knee, all you're gonna do is go into that standing crunch. So you're still standing on that same leg and all you're doing for 15 seconds is just engaging that core and you're using the band as the resistance. So just really push against that band and just think about bringing that belly button back towards the spine as you're just engaging the core here and just doing these nice little pulses. Now everything is gonna be repeated and now onto the other leg. Good work, keep going, you got 15 seconds. Keep that core nice and tight, keep breathing. I know that standing leg should probably be burning right now. Mine is. Three, two, and one. Same leg that was moving back and forth, we're just gonna go into that standing crunch. So you're just gonna tap the toe and then bring that knee up. Really pushing against that band as much as you can. You should definitely feel this through your legs and your core. Good, 10 more seconds. Next, we're gonna go ahead and work the hamstring and your booty. So this is a great one, keep your booty band on and what we're gonna do is that single leg deadlift and this is for 45 seconds. 
one leg is stabilizing you. And again, if you have to hold on for balance, grab a chair, grab a wall, it's totally fine. What you wanna do is you want to only bring your fingers to about shin height. You don't wanna go any lower than that because then you start rounding your back. So the emphasis here is you keep a nice, good straight line. So a flat back from your head to your booty is strong and straight. Your knees are soft and slightly bent and all that's doing is you're just kicking that back leg back and you wanna feel a nice, good stretch through that standing leg. And then as you step back up, you wanna use your heel to do the standing back up. So basically most of your weight is going to be through that standing heel. And that's where you should really feel those hamstrings and that booty. Good, keep that core nice and tight. Now we're gonna bring both legs together and we're just gonna go into that straight leg deadlift, otherwise known as the RDL. And so all you're doing is you're just walking and bringing those hands down the legs roughly around shin height so that you keep that nice good strong back you don't want to ever round your back through this because then your back starts to do all the work we want to remember to keep the hamstrings and the booty doing the work Good. now we're gonna go ahead and just do the same thing on the other side remember keeping that standing leg a soft knee and it doesn't bend other than that all you're doing is kicking that back leg and you're going down to about where your fingers can go about shin height and then you're standing back up with that heel you should feel a nice good stretch to the back of the leg and then you should really feel your glutes and your hamstrings getting stronger right here Again, keep that core nice and tight. So just bring that belly button back towards the spine. That helps keep that back nice and strong as well. Five more seconds and then we're gonna go ahead and switch to the straight leg deadlift again. So same thing we did on the other side. The legs come together and you're just walking those legs down. Essentially it's doing the deadlift that we were just doing, but this time we're not doing any kicking back. We're just sending the weight in through those heels and then pushing it back up. All that's moving is the hips are just going forward and back. This is such a great one, especially when you do it with weights. Okay, now you know we love booty, so we're gonna go ahead and just really get a booty finisher here. So these are the hydrants, you should definitely know them. Your hands um, are right underneath your shoulders, your knees are right underneath your hips. The booty band is on and all you're doing is just bringing that knee out to the side. Now you should immediately feel this after about two or three reps. If you don't, make any little small adjustments so you start to feel it again. Um, you wanna again make sure that your back is nice and flat and how to do that is bring that belly button back up to the spine, engage your core so you have a nice good strong uh, line right there from your head to your booty. Push that band as much as you can for the best booty burn. Keep pushing, keep pushing, and then get ready to switch sides. Awesome, so same thing, 30 seconds, now just on the other side. Naturally, you're gonna to wanna to try to rush through these, try to slow it down, keep that core tight. You'll feel that booty in burning, and that is the goal. 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna go into shoulders. So this is a great shoulder defining workout. It's called the downward dog push-up. So for 45 seconds, um, we're gonna be doing this. So go ahead and just basically bring the crown of your head down to the mat and your elbows are pushing you back up. And then what I'm doing is I'm just working my core by going down into that little bear crawl right there um, where my knees are just slightly hovering over the mat and then um, going back up into that downward dog. 
So take your time here and if you are a beginner and this is a little bit too advanced for you, you can actually go up against a wall and that would be a great modification um, so that you're, it's not as challenging. Three, two, and one. Next, we're just gonna go 15 seconds into just the pulses here. So you're just bringing the crown of the head right between those two hands. The, the fingers are slightly pointed in, but whatever's comfortable for your wrist. 10 more seconds, you got this. Let it burn, ouch, ouch, ouch. Good, okay, this next one. Oh my gosh, the best tricep burn ever. Okay, rocking tricep push-ups. So what you're gonna do is start with your hands parallel to each other. So you're gonna rock it back onto your elbows, bring it back, and then push up like a push-up. If you're a beginner, you can absolutely do it on your knees like I am, because I was absolutely dying. This is 45 seconds you'll be doing this. Rock it on your elbows, push it back up into that push-up, and then back and forth. Keep that core nice and tight here. I am straight struggling at this point. <laughs> So now that your triceps are on fire, just go into that plank, and this is called the plank pedals. It's just for 15 seconds, just dropping the knee one at a time. All right, the next one is a core burner. So we call this the break dancer. So it's 30 seconds on each side. What you're gonna do is start off in a plank and then you're gonna step up. You can also do this without the band. So if you find it a little challenging, um, level one band is usually have a little bit more width, but you can also do this without the band. I actually find it to be a little bit easier. So step up and then you're gonna kick that leg through while that arm goes up and then you go ahead and reverse it. You just keep going back and forth and you've only got about 10 more seconds, keep going. Remember, don't hold your breath, keep breathing. Good, same thing, now just go ahead and repeat it onto the other side. Go into that plank, step it up, kick it through. Good, 15 more seconds, keep strong. You only have your back left, we're almost done. Okay, so last body part, you guys are doing awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go into the bird dog twist for 45 seconds. So you're gonna go ahead and go onto your hands and knees, so a tabletop position, extending one leg back and the opposite arm is bent. And you're just going to twist it down as that knee comes in. Remember, keep that core engaged, just bringing that belly button back towards the spine. Good little reminders there help me too.
All right, so next one is going to be 15 seconds of this superwoman lap pull down. So you can pull down with your long band, with your booty band, or if you're a beginner, you can just use it how I'm doing where I'm just pulling it back and squeezing into that bra strap area. So you go ahead and drop it down, lift it up, both your legs and your arms, squeeze your back as you bring it down. Now, if you're a beginner, you could just lift your upper body and you don't have to lift your or over your upper body. And then we end with the other side of the bird dog twist. So 45 seconds, again, keep that core nice and tight. All right, so next one is going to be 15 seconds of this superwoman lap pull down. And you did it. That's it, good job. So great work on your full body HIIT workout. Hopefully you got a nice good sweat. This is time to now really hydrate. So if you struggle with getting water into your diet, this is the time to really increase that water intake. Make sure that you get a nice good stretch after your workout and have an amazing rest of your day. If you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.